Hi guys, so today, if you haven't guessed it from the title of the video already, is a high-end makeup haul. I recently purchased all these products on my trip to London and I did such a big haul that I had to split it into two parts. This part is going to be the high-end haul and then I'm going to be doing a drugstore and affordable makeup haul, which will come after this. So watch out for part two. If you have my kind of skin tone and you've seen all these products float around the internet and you're a bit confused whether you should go out and buy them, I hope this video helps you but um, I would strongly recommend you go out and swatch the product and just see how it feels in your hand and on your face and what it looks like. Just try some and then go out and see what you look like in the sun. I know it's excessive, but that's it, what I do with these products every time. I probably go into the store and swatch something at least three times on three different days just to see if I'm feeling the same way on different days, but that's me. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it. The order I'm gonna go in is the order that I would apply them on my face because it just makes sense to me. I'm gonna start with the MAC Studio Moisture Cream. Now this I used many, many years ago and I don't know if it was this one, but it was a moisture cream from MAC. I really like the way that it looked on my skin, the way that it's made makeup look on my skin as well. I used the entire pot, for, if I remember correctly, I didn't repurchase it back then because I wanted to see what else there was in the market. So I was on my way to Sri Lanka and I stopped inside MAC and I saw this cream and I remember what it made my skin look like. So I purchased another one. The great thing about this product is that it's got sodium hyaluronate in it, which is the salt form of hyaluronic acid. If you're familiar with skincare and stuff, hyaluronic acid is the stuff that attracts moisture to your skin, makes it look full and plump and fresh. What happens is as you go older, the hyaluronic acid in your skin gets less and less and less. So something like this would add hyaluronic acid into your skin and make it look fresh and plump. And that is exactly how I remember my skin looking when I was using this product. I've used it a couple of times now and it doesn't have a greasy texture like other moisturizing moisturizers do. Other moisturizers have. It absorbs into the skin nicely and it gives you a protective layer on top of your skin and it allows the makeup to sit on it really, really nicely. This comes in at 25 pounds for 50 ml, I think. Yeah, 50 ml, which is pretty good considering it's got some good stuff in there. The next thing I want to discuss is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. Now, I didn't think I would ever purchase this product. I just thought it was one of those like bougie products. Whenever I do a makeup look, I always like to bronze my skin and I always use bronzing powders. It just feels like it's too matte and I wanted a dewy bronzer. So I went around looking and I tried so many different things. You know the thing that Google does when a product just pops up at the bottom of your screen? It's just like, buy this, you'll really like it. And you're just like, yeah, I know. I don't want to spend that much on a bronzer. And what do you know? I spent that much on a bronzer. As much as I hate to admit it, this product is actually really nice. It smells so good. And I'm actually wearing it today. It gives you a really nice natural dewy bronzy look, which is something different than a normal bronzer and other products which are out there because they give you more of a contour type bronzer if that makes sense. I've really enjoyed using this. I've used this a couple of times. I've had so many compliments when I've used it. It just gives your skin that really beautiful bronzy JLo kind of glow. And this, my friends, comes in at £32. I wasn't sure about this product in the beginning because if you look at it against my skin it looks like my skin tone but it actually does create a really nice bronzy look. Anything like to my skin tone and I'm an NC42. This shows up really nicely. The next product that I got is another bronzer which is the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer in the color Tantric. It is so beautiful. Now, this is another one just like the Chanel one which I thought wouldn't show up on me and I'm wearing it today and it looks really really beautiful. It gives you that natural kind of warmth to your skin rather than having that really harsh contour. This is something you can wear almost every day. The size of the pan it's the size of my head, it's huge. Let me explain how this happened. So I went to the store and I was actually looking for the Hula bronzer, but I normally go in and I swatch it and I'm just like, no, it just doesn't feel right. On my way to trying the Hula bronzer, I walk past Marc Jacobs. They've got this on display, so I swatch it and it's just so finely milled and it just blends in so beautifully to the skin. It's something that I can use every day and I really, really like the packaging. It's something that I can travel with. It's so slim. It clips shut and it's got a huge mirror on the top. You can adjust to how you want it to sit and it will just stay there, which is perfect. And it's just so great. So if I compare this to say, Matt Give Me Sun. So this has 25 grams of product in it. 
and this has I think it's 10 grams of product so this has twice the amount of product as this does and this is I believe it's 25 pounds if I'm not mistaken and this is 35 pounds the way that it blends into your skin is just so seamless I'm really sorry if you can hear the karaoke going on in the background it's like every Friday night there's some banging karaoke going on behind where I live and it took me forever to figure out where it was coming from and then I took my dog for a walk and then I realized it was coming from the sports center this is the first time they're actually singing a song that I like for the past two years or however long I've been living here they've been singing Mariah Carey every freaking week and it's like give it a break the next product that I bought is also from Marc Jacobs and it is the Dew Drops in do you number 50 now I've been looking for a liquid bronzer for so long I've been looking for a liquid bronzer for so so long and I just feel like every time I swatch one it just enhances my pores and I just hate it now I went and tried this one on and this one has a coconut gel base so what that does is it basically smooths over all the texture and it gives you that highlight which I'm actually wearing today I need another new highlight but it doesn't accentuate any of the pores that I have here. It just gives you that really nice reflective glow that I've been looking for in a product like this. Now this comes in at 32 pounds, which is quite expensive, but you get how much? You get quite a lot of product with this. It doesn't say on this how much product you get. I've seen a lot of people blend it in with their foundations to give a dewier kind of finish. I haven't actually tried that, which I, I will be doing that, but I just feel like it's so nice to have on certain areas of your skin that I don't know if I want to have it all over my skin. I'll give it a go and see how it works. Maybe I'll love it, I don't know. Next up is a powder highlight and this one is Rodeo Drive from Ofra Cosmetics. Now this has a really nice goldeny champagne kind of colour to it which is really beautiful. I'm wearing it right now. It's actually quite an intense highlight. It's something that I don't really go for but it's just so so pretty. It just gives you that really nice wet kind of glow. The Rodeo Drive comes in at £25. While we're on the note of highlighters, I went and bought another highlighter. This is MAC Oh Darling. Now this is so beautiful. It's a really nice golden highlight. When if you compare it to this one, which is more of a champagne highlight, I don't know if you can see it because of the light. The MAC Oh Darling is a tiny bit more golden. It's not so glittery like the Oprah one. I'm not saying that this is glittery, but this has a tiny bit more glitter. This has a tiny bit more glitter than this. This is more of a sheen to your face, which I've been wearing in the daytime, just on the high points of my cheeks, and it looks so pretty. Macro Darling is £24.50. Moving on to the eyes, this is probably one of the most exciting purchases that I've made in such a long time. I was super excited when I got this in the post, and that is the Vizia Neutral Matte Palette. Now, so many people, both pros and consumers, love this product. I don't know why it's taken me this long to buy a Viseart palette but it's so beautiful the colors are so pigmented and they're so creamy and there's very very little kickback which is something that is floating around YouTube at the moment with the whole subculture palette saga that's going on which I don't have that palette yet and I don't know if I will get it unless I swatch it a million times but um, we'll see. This was $80, it's pretty expensive, but it has 12 eyeshadows in, which comes into about six pounds, more than six pounds each, which is kind of on the same level as Makeup Geek. I don't know if it, each pan is the same size, but it's this, almost the same price as Makeup Geek. And they're just so beautiful. These are the kind of shadows that I wear every day in my crease. I can wear a completely neutral look with this one. I've got this one on my eyes today. I use this on my brow bone. I used a mixture of these three colours in my outer corner and buff them into my crease along with another product which I'll mention later on in the video. I ordered this from Beautylish and that's the first time I've ordered from Beautylish ever. Their customer service is next level brilliant i normally order from beauty bay and i really like their customer service they respond really quickly if i have any queries there was a package that i ordered once and i didn't receive it and they sent a new one out the next day but beautylish the way that it came it was like a present to me from me <laughs> oh, okay so yeah it's just really nicely wrapped in black tissue paper and then it had wrapping paper around the top it was a brown cargo box but the way that it was just presented inside the box was just really really nice i just love everything about this i love the packaging the product i love that you can see what's in there i can't wait to create more looks with this one and i can't wait to get hold of 
the rest of the collection. Okay, so the next product that I purchased was this palette here. Now I know a lot of you will be thinking, why did you go and purchase that? It's so old. And it's because I used to use it so much when I was younger and it was one of my favorite palettes ever. Maybe because there were no other palettes out there on the market. But I just wanted to see if it had the same kind of effect. I've tried it a few times and I really like it, mainly for a casual daytime look. Would I recommend this product? It depends who you are. So if you're the no fast kind of person, just want to put on a quick eye look, this is for you. So they've got two crease shades and then they've got a bunch of shimmers which you can just put all over the eyelid and you're done. So for someone else who want to get more of a different kind of look, play around with a few more eyeshadows, maybe not for you because like I said, you've only got two crease shades. I would probably go for another palette like the Tartlet in blue, but these shades are so beautiful. I remember Sidecar, Half Bake and Smog used to be my jam back in the day. You can't really get a lot of looks out of this. You can probably get the same look with lots of different colors. If that's the kind of thing you want to do, then great. If you want something more from a palette, then maybe this might not be for you. Plus this brush, I think it's a pile of shite. This side right here is pretty good. Like it's a standard eyeshadow application brush. But this one here is supposed to be a fluffy blending brush, but it's so firm that it almost pokes your eye out. I'd rather use something a bit fluffy, kind of like the MAC 217 or something which is not so stiff and firm. But other than that, I am quite excited to try this palette out. This comes in at £39. It's a little bit pricey for a product that is not as versatile as I would expect one to be. The next thing I bought are these Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadows from Steeler. I got the colours Rose Gold Retro and Smoky Storm. I'm wearing Rose Gold Retro on my eyes today and it is so, so beautiful. Beautiful. It's so easy to apply. You can wear it for a daytime event or an evening event, just depending on who you are. And it's just so light and it just gives a really beautiful look to your eyeshadow. You just pop this all over the lid and then I use a brush to just blend out the edges a tiny bit and you're done. The only thing I have to say about these is if you blend it out a tiny bit too much, the glitter will start falling out. These come in at £23 each. I think it's worth just picking maybe one or two that you really like. I don't have the whole collection and you don't need to buy the whole collection. I also purchased this Sigma E25 blending brush. I think this was about £13 but it's so high quality, it's such a nice brush. The bristles are soft enough that you can use it in the crease, but they are firm enough that you can deposit a color and you can blend it out without it going all over your face, which is really, really nice. I used this on the look that I did today. And lastly, I just wanted to talk about the lip products that I bought. The first one is Stila Patina, which is a really popular color. I got this because I really like the color of Dusty Rose by ABH, but I wasn't such a fan of the formula. I found it quite drying, and I know liquid lipsticks are quite dry, but the ones I use from Ofra, Kat Von D, even Stila, the liquid lipsticks are dry but they're comfortable enough to wear. It's something that I can wear every day and it's something that I can wear in the evening for events. It's a pretty good colour, especially for someone of my skin tone. Stila Patina comes in at £16. Oh, these are all pinks. The next one is Hula Beauty in the colour Bombshell. Now this is another one which is really, really beautiful on someone of my skin tone. It comes across more of a nude, lighter pink than Patina does, but nevertheless, it's really, really beautiful. This is another formula of liquid lipsticks which are really comfortable to wear. It gives you that nude look without being so gray and so dull. It has a really nice pink tone to it. So this goes really nicely for daytime looks for people with my skin. And even if you wanted to do a dramatic eye and have a soft pink lip, this will go really nicely. This retails for 18 pounds. And lastly, this product I have been waiting for since I don't even know when, but I can say forever. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk. If you know about Pillow Talk, you'll know that it's a cult favorite and it came in a lip liner first and everybody was using that lip liner on their entire lips, including me. When they came out with the lipstick, I was so excited. I just needed to get my hands on it. And now I have it and I'm wearing it today. It's so pretty. It goes so nicely with so many kinds of looks, whether you're doing a dramatic eye, whether you're doing something daytime or whether you're doing something like this. I've done a tutorial on this look which I will link down below if you're interested. This colour looks so beautiful on so many skin tones from light to medium to dark. It's just one of those perfect colours which suit everybody. I'll probably throw this one in my bag and keep it with me everywhere I go. This comes in at £24. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any of the products that I mentioned, comment down below and let me know what you thought of them. If there's anything else that you'd recommend which is high-end, then I'd love to check that out. Please give this video a 
thumbs up, please subscribe, and I will see you in my next video for part two. Bye.